Hi, fellow traders. Hope everybody had a great day today. Um, good Monday, great weekend. Um, good way to start the week off. I uh, want to apologize. I know I had so several people looking for recaps, you know, toward the end of last week, but I got real busy, had a lot of mentor sessions that I was doing. And, you know, I kind of went through my trades in those sessions and, you know, so didn't really have time to do any recap videos, but I'll try to do a better job this this week um, and maybe, you know, record some of the, you know, as I go over some of my trades. But um, I started this this week off pretty good. It wasn't as good as last week, but, you know, I did a little something different. Uh, felt confident in what I was doing because I'm trading the chart. I'm trading price action and I'm not letting things creep into my mind, you know, telling me you don't trade, the, you don't trade pre-market. You don't do this. You don't do that. Um, as a rule, I don't. But when I see good price action and I see decent volume, kind of the same as if I would have been trading it during the day, then I don't have a problem going in and I don't have and I don't feel that I'm going to get hurt. So, you know, in that case, I looked at it and it looked good and I got in and, you know, we're going to I'm going to go over that one first. But first, I want to go back to Friday. Um, H.O.T., you know, normally and what's unique about this is this is a stock. The news on it was a merger. Um, you know, whenever that happens, most of the time the stock will gap up and flatline. But this wasn't a done deal, so to speak. It was still in the work, still negotiations, and it had good price action. And I was looking at this price action, and this is what convinced me to trade this ticker. And, you know, if I saw it again, I would do it again. You know, I went back and looked at this two or three times, and there's nothing that would indicate me not trading this. The only thing I would have done differently was pay more attention to it when I got in the trade because when I got in the trade it shot up and gave me opportunities to take profit here and I didn't do it because I was paying attention to something else and by the time I saw this it was on its way back down on this candle here and so all I could do is just wait to see if it bounced off of this level again and gave me another opportunity to take profit well obviously it didn't uh, came down and it stopped me out just below this, um, you know, lost a couple hundred bucks on it, open and trade, but that's the name of the game. Sometimes your your um, setups work, and in this case, it worked. I would have been in the money because I would immediately would have moved my stock to break even, and I would have locked in this profit. But because I missed it and I wasn't locked in, I ended up losing that profit. And this losing trade was not because the trade didn't work out. It was because I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Now, yes, it didn't have follow through. But had I stuck to my plan and my rules, I would have made profit on it. Now, over the weekend, it came out that um, Starwood got approval from the government to operate in Cuba. And they were going to put, you know, three, I think three uh, hotels over there and whatnot. So that news was good. And I, and I figured that, you know, Monday morning this stock was going to ramp up. So I kind of traded or changed my routine this morning and wanted to come and I wanted to come in early and try to catch, you know, the pop or the run up. Because I figured it'd be worth a couple bucks, two, three dollars at, you know, maybe four. So I get in and I completely missed this. Uh, completely missed it. It ramped, uh, it ran up too fast. There was just no way I could get in this. You know, it, it wasn't really any volume. Um, so it was just no way you could get in this. And then I kind of just watched this and, you know, soon volume started building in it was basing on this and when i got you know this hundred thousand shares when volume was just coming in this 
I went ahead and got in. It was over the VWAP. My risk was this 8281 level. And, you know, I got in because I expected, you know, another push up and ended up getting it. I didn't take profit here because this was a quick pop. I couldn't get filled. And so I just kind of waited and I ended up getting filled here. You know, it took a minute, but my orders got hit. So I took some profit off here. And then when it couldn't hold this 25 level, because there was there were prints of 25 coming through 83, 25, 80, 84, 25, 84, 25. And, you know, just just printing and printing. And I figured if it couldn't push that. You know, I would take it off with well, this candle, you know, open lower and I went ahead and took it off 8408, but had a real nice cushion for the morning um, before market even started. And the only reason I did this again, um, it had nice price action and the volume had come in. I thought was coming in, but, you know, just just one of those. One of those trades where I just felt confident in what I saw. I liked the setup. You know, I liked it off the VWAP. I liked the fact that I had this level here to protect me. I had all of these moving averages up under it. So it was just kind of a no brainer to go in and, and do it pre market. And it's something that I had in my mind, you know, from the weekend. Um, but and really thought about taking it here off the VWAP again, which you know would have been a nice trade because I probably couldn't have gotten out in this but I sure could have gotten out here you know I sure could have gotten filled somewhere in here so that would have been a nice game too but I talked myself out of it because I wanted to see what this thing was going to do the 30 minutes leading in the open and that kind of gives me an idea of how I want to trade this ticker and because it lost the nine and I felt it was going to lose the uh, VWAP. You know, I was looking at it. So once I got that, it wasn't really confirmation. But on the two minute, you know, it looked like it was getting ready to wash on this candle. So I went ahead and took, you know, a position here and took it short. I was expecting to wash down to this and maybe sell it and try to catch the bounce on the way up because I knew it was going to come back to VWAP and I knew it was going to kind of base around there you know after it makes the morning move but I was expecting a bigger morning move I know that again this was you know rumors of a buyout but then it had some other news going for it that I thought would give it you know me more of an opportunity at the open but it you know it didn't um, I did get in here right under the VWAP uh, ended up able to take some profit here when it got to the 46 you know one it's a good thing about being in I was in this 800 shares and I took six off here and a good thing about that is you know it's easy to get out 600 shares on something like this you know when you have 400,000 shares of volume going through a 600 share order will get gobbled up in no time um, but I left 200 shares on because I felt safe that this thing was not going to pop and run. And I just kind of held it all day. Um, this was in my speed trader account because I was trading pre-market. And all I've been doing out of it is kind of swing trading a little bit or trying to get my feet wet in swing trading. Um, but because it was pre-market, I didn't want to test your trader's water. So um, I just did it in speed trader. And so I was comfortable holding this all day because, you know, my speed trader account was free and I had, you know, full buying power in it. But it never really lost it. It, it flatlined like I thought it would. And as soon as I got a little move down, you know, later on in the day, I went ahead and took it. You know, I got it in the 60s. So I went ahead and took it off for a little bit of profit there. I think I got in at what, 90 was it nine, uh, 75 so it was it was a pretty good profit take here uh, I was pretty pleased with that trade
Uh, the next trade I had um, was uh, SRPT. It was a uh, top reversal setup. You know, it hit my scan. And I watched it do this. It never did get up here. And I tried. I had an order sitting here at 95 waiting on it. But it never hit it. But then it hit it on this candle. And, you know, I was in the trade here. My, my goal was to get in this thing um, 3,000 shares. But I started with two. Because if this thing washed out real quick down here, I was going to take it off. I was going to take, you know, 1,500 off right here. But, you know, it didn't, it didn't really follow through. It kind of chopped around a little bit. So I went ahead and just took half of it off here um, in the 60s, I think around 64, 65, somewhere in there. And then it came back up and stopped me out. You know, I tried to get out, break even on this, um, but missed it by a couple of cents as usual. But um, that's what's been happening to most of my trades no follow through um, or reversal trades most of them top reversals bottom reversals I'm just not getting any follow through and it looks like I'm getting in early but the setup is there you know everything I like is right here you know this this setup was even there the, the RSI was at 85 almost and you know it pulled back a little bit you had the increase in volume just the perfect setup, what I'm looking for. And everything was in place, but it didn't really give me a move. It never surged into this for me to get entered. And, you know, it didn't go anywhere. This this level held and it's kind of surged up into this, allowed me to get in. So I'm thinking, well, maybe this is a double step. But it triple step came down. And then went back up again and came down again. But this isn't a level that I found. This isn't a daily level. What I did here was because this tapped this level three or four times, you know, with three or four candles, I wanted to see, did I miss anything? You know, is there something that I missed on, um, you know, when I was looking at my levels? So I'm going to go back and look at my daily chart to see if I can line this up with, um, you know, something that I missed on the daily chart. Because this is this it helps me study and it helps me see the things that I might have made a mistake on. And I can kind of improve it um, later on down the road. Um, and you can see, you know, th this gave some good trading opportunities um, after close. You know, 60, 70, 80 cents on this stock, you know, that you can size, well, that I could size in, you know, even if I could size in a thousand shares, 70 cents on a thousand shares is 700 bucks. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. So, you know, I could size up on these and 30, 40, 50 cent moves, you know, I can pay the bills with. And it's really, you know, what I'm looking for. If I get a home run, then I get a home run. But I'm looking for base hits. Sometimes a base hit can turn into a double. Sometimes a double, you know, can turn into a triple. And sometimes I can get an in-the-park home run. You never know. But I'm looking for those singles. I'm not looking for bunts. I'm looking for singles, you know, solid singles that I can drive out, you know, and maybe get an extra base or two. So, it's just one of those, um, you know, things that I do to, you know, help me keep my head in the game. You know, it's, it's what I go looking to do every day. So that's my day um, today. Hopefully I can do, you know, one every day. Um, but if I have carbon copy days, I'm not going to do the same recap over and over again on different stocks because it doesn't make sense and you really don't get anything from it i don't get anything from it you know but if it's something that i find that is unique like my hot trade this morning you know i did it pre-market and you know i use the same strategy that i use at the open i use pre-market because 
I saw the volume come in that I could use and you know it worked out great so I may do a little bit more of those um, but you know I'm, I'm gonna try my best to share everything that that I do so I hope everybody has a great evening or a great night and I'll see everybody bright and early tomorrow in chat